The following video will demonstrate the procedure for refilling the hydraulic oil reservoir for the HENM Sidewinder Series saws. This includes the Sidewinder M, Sidewinder A-1, Sidewinder A-4, and Sidewinder A-C models. The hydraulic oil reservoir is located under the arm next to the two arm lift cylinders. There is a sight tube to verify the oil level when the arm is down. The arm must be down to check the oil level because as the arm rises the oil is drawn out of this reservoir and into the cylinder. The oil level should be approximately one half inch to one inch from the top of the fitting when the arm is down. To add oil, several important steps are required. Begin the procedure by removing the upper arm height stop collar. Depending on the Sidewinder model, raise the arm by pressing the arm retract button, flipping the arm lift toggle switch, or turning the arm switch to lift. While the arm is up, loosen the jam nut that holds the height set adjustment rod onto the oil reservoir tank. Loosen the jam nut approximately one half turn. Loosen the lockdown bolt that holds the upper and lower switch block and remove the top bolt that holds the switch block to the saw. Lift the switch block assembly off and set it off to the side. Now lower the arm using the button or switch, depending on the Sidewinder control version. Turn the power off at the main disconnect and perform lockout tagout procedures. At this time, it is important to also disconnect the air and allow it to bleed out of the system for a few minutes. If the system is under pressure, oil could spray out of the reservoir tank when the rod is removed. Twist the stop rod counterclockwise to unscrew it from the top of the oil reservoir tank and remove it from the saw. Place a funnel down through the arm and into the opening in the oil tank where the stop rod was removed. This is the fill site for the hydraulic oil. Add oil until the oil level in the sight tube mounted on the side of the reservoir reaches between one half inch and one inch from the top fitting. Remove the funnel and screw the height stop rod back into the top of the oil reservoir. Tighten the rod and align it so the holes face forward or where they did before the rod was removed. Take the saw out of lockout tagout and turn the main disconnect back on. Reconnect the air supply and energize the control as is done each time the saw is started. Lift the arm as high as it will travel and reinstall the switch block assembly, locking it down with the fastener and lockdown bolt. While the arm is raised, tighten the jam nut on the bottom of the stop rod where it connects to the top of the oil reservoir tank. There is a slight possibility that the lower arm stop will not end up exactly where it was previously, but it should be very close. If the lower stop requires adjustment, refer to the document found on www.hemsaw.com and found by clicking on the support link on the menu at the top of any page and selecting technical support. Then select the horizontal miter series saws and any sidewinder model in the select saw drop down box. Look for the document titled adjusting horizontal air saw upper and lower arm stops. <laughs>